Hi everyone, welcome to another week for Ross Q&A here at The Construct. My name is Rodrigo and today I'll be answering this question for Ross 2 in which this person is trying to use a static transform publisher in a launch file. So there is a library in Ross called TF2 Ross that allows you to um, run static transform publishers. So this guy, Jeff, is trying to put that um, node inside of a launch file in order to publish a transform from autumn to laser. Those are two frames. And this is a translation and the uh, orientation. So it's, they're superimposed. There's no translation, no orientation. So, and he's getting errors for um, when he's trying to launch it. So you could you could do this in a file just by ex making a Python um, executable, or you could put it inside a launch file. And so I'm going to show you how to do this, how to put a, a static transfer publisher inside a launch file, and launch it in um, in ROS2. So to do that, I'm going to go to the constructsim.com and I'm gonna log in into my account. And if you don't have one, you can create one real quick and you can go to this side button on the left here called My Rostjects. And in the page that opens up, you can create a new Rostject over here. So here you can select the ROS distribution that you want. We have starting from Kinetic all the way to ROS2 Foxy. So we're going to select ROS2 Foxy and for the name we can call it whatever we want. What about static TF publisher? Uh, we can make it private and add a description. I'm just going to add the link for the URL like always. And we're going to go ahead and create it. And in the page that opens up you can see that the static TF publisher here has been made. So we can click this red button to run it. And well, while it's loading, let me just take you back to the constructsim.com and show you our platform for learning robotics. This is a great place for you to come and learn. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or if you want to hone your skills as an experienced programmer. We have over 50 robotics courses starting from basics for C++ and Python oriented towards robotics all the way to robot navigation and machine learning so if you want a great platform to learn all about robotics I recommend you guys come here and create an account okay so now that we're back in our Rostject and it's been loaded we can close our notebook we don't need it right now we can create our package where our launch file is going to go. So to do that, we're going to go open up our web shell. And as you can see, if you type in ls, here are all of the workspaces that you can use. We're going to go ahead and enter and create our package inside the ROS2 workspace. So enter that with cd inside the src folder. Actually, no, before that, go to ROS2 workspace and source your environment. So dot install setup.bash. You have to do this in every terminal you open. Um, so now that we have that, we can go in the source folder and create our package. To do that, do this command. Um, it's a little different from ROS1 if you're used to ROS1. So it's ROS2 PKG create. And then we're going to specify the build type. So just type in uh, dash dash and then build type. And since we're going to be using Python, we want to do it with MN Python. And so this sort of creates the package the way we want it uh, with the setup file already created for us. 
So then we can name our package whatever we want. I'm going to name it static TF. So now if we type in ls, you can see that the package has been created. So if we enter it, you'll see this setup Python that I talked to you about. And um, in this folder is where our executables are going to be. But for this, we just actually need to create a, a launch file. So we don't need any kind of executable to go along with it because we're using the static, static transform publisher from the library TF2, which is already installed. So we're just going to create a launch file. Just type in, in this, when you're here, type in mkdir and then launch. And we can enter it and create our launch file. So to do that, I'm going to use the IDE, the code editor. So over here, you can see that our package has been created and our launch folder is right here. So we can create a new file. We can name it whatever we want. I'm just going to call it the same thing, static tflaunch.py. Remember that launch files now in ROS2 are Python files, so they have to end with .py. Uh, so now we have this, and I'm going to type the, uh, the launch file here because I think it's a good practice for you to learn and see the differences sort of so you internalize it and create a launch file really quickly and, and see what's wrong and there's, if there's errors. So the first two things that you have to do, well you have to do three things. You have to import two libraries from launch, import launch description, that's the first one. And from launch ROS actions, import node. Okay, and then you're, we're going to create the function that's just going to launch our node. So it's usually called generate launch description. And um, first, we're going to create an object from launch description. And now we're going to do our node. So type in node equals, and then the function that we imported node. And there's three things that you have to specify. First, where the package that you're launching your node from is. Remember, we're using the library that is called TF2 ROS. That's where the static transfer publisher node is. So we have that. Then we have to name the executable. executable and that's going to be the static transfer publisher so type that in and if you want to see errors on your terminal to do output screen don't forget to put the comments afterwards and then here's what the issue was with the person asking the question. See, oh, here, you can see that he created the package, TF2 ROS, executable, static transfer publisher, and then he described the arguments in this manner. The um, issue here is that you have to add them, like he tried over here. I don't know why he couldn't get it afterwards, but this is precisely how you, um, how you specify it. You have to um, put a comma, separate your string because it doesn't understand it like it used to in ROS1 because before if you wanted to use a launch file 
with a static transfer publisher, you would put this string as the input for the argument. But now you have to separate them into strings, into some sort of chunks here, you can see. So he tried that, and let's just try that and see if it works on our side. Um, so we are here. Type in arguments, and we're going to create that. So it's going to be six zeros because remember we have translation and rotation to specify. Like that. And then we're going to say what our frames are called. Uh, we're going to do the same ones that he did um, an odometry frame and a laser frame. So now we have our node description right here. And lastly, we're going to do from the launch description object we created, we can use this function add action and then node. And finally, just return it. And that's it, that's all you have to do for your launch file. So remember, import these two things and then create your, your launch description by specifying the package, the executable. If you want error output, you can do error output screen and then whatever arguments you want. There we go. So now we're gonna go and add this to our setup.py in order for ROS2 to find this um, this launch file we created. And I like to use two libraries. So let's do that. Import OS and glob. So that one is called from glob import glob. And in here in data files in this section, we're going to include our launch file. So, to do that, sorry, we're going to type in this. This just uh, specifies the path that you have to do in order to arrive to the launch file we created. So, it's called os.path.join. And it's got to be in the share library. Then we specify the package name, like above. Our launch folder. Then get out of that parentheses and type in blob to select all of your launch files. Launch and then all of them dot pi. So now we have everything we need to compile, I think. So let's just go to our terminal and check. To compile, we want to be on this directory. So let's go back like this and then type in Calcon build. Okay, nice. We have our static TF package compiled and finished. Make sure I'm just gonna source our environment again, just to make sure. And now let's try and launch it. So to do that, the, the command is ROS2 launch, the name of the package that we created, static TF. and the name of the file. So that's static tf launch.py. So 
So you can see that something happened here. It says, stop spinning until killed, publishing transform from autumn to laser. Nice. So we have created our transfer publisher. And if we want to see that it's actually being published, we can do a TF echo. Um, that's included in the ROS2 library. So to do that, do ROS2 run, because it's an executable. Uh, the library is, the package name is TF2 ROS. And then TF echo, and then the frames that you want to listen to. So autumn and laser. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to source our environment here. There he goes. I'm sorry. The f other one we have to source is actually Roth itself, not our, just our workspace. Which is Foxy. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to type in source correctly. Hmm. Okay, so the issue that I was having is that I was in sourcing my environment correctly. And and what I did at the end, sometimes you it's a good idea to try this uh, yourself if you're getting an error that you don't know. Um, you have to close the shell that you've done in order to sort of get rid of all the sourcing of the environments you've done and then source it again. So, ROS, um, remember this is ROS Foxy, setup.bash, and then, then the command would be ROS to run tf2. Ross, um, then the echo, which is TF2 echo, and then the two frames that you want to listen to, autumn and laser. So there you go, you can see how it's listening to the launch file we created that is publishing a transfer from autumn to laser. And remember, we specified no translation, no rotation, so everything's good there. Um, so there you go, that is how you launch a um, static transfer publisher uh, for ROS2 uh, and remember to separate your arguments in this case for each uh, value that you want to specify. That was the problem that the user on the question was having. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope this video was a good one and remember to um, ask any questions you have on the comments section. and. I'll see you guys next week for our next video of Ross Q&A. Bye, guys.